students do a lot of public speaking through debating club and the Dawa club, and through taking it in turns to give nasiha or good advice after prayers to their fellow students. As a result, they get rid of their fear of speaking in public and later learn how to make power presentations themselves. Because of this frequent practice, they almost always come out top for presentation skills in national competitions with other schools. And presentation counts for a lot. You may be able to answer questions and so forth, but can you present your opinions and so forth? Competitions and self-confidence. There are many national school competitions for sciences, information technology, mathematics, and so on. And we would urge more Muslim schools to have a go at these competitions, as it gives the students experience and confidence. We shall never forget our first attempt two years ago in the National Young Physicists Tournament in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. Our girls went in their hijab school uniforms. The reaction of the other schools, mainly from the southern part of the country, to the presence of a northern Muslim school was initially surprise and derision based on preconceptions that a Muslim school is automatically substandard and that a girl in hijab doesn't know anything. But when our students, including the girls, were seen in action, speaking clearly in good English, defending their projects with seriousness and confidence, they began to change their perceptions. At the end of the competition came the announcement that New Horizons College was the winner and would therefore represent Nigeria at the International Young Physicists Tournament in Slovakia. The feeling that we can do it spread throughout the students and the staff. A few months later, the college sent students also with their teacher to Calabar in the southeast for a two-week national information technology camp in competition with scores of other schools our students again returned, having won the competition, the trophy, and four <laughs> laptops. These experiences of exceeding our own expectations lead us to advise Muslim schools to be bold and to enter their students for these competitions. You may not win the first time round, but when you see what's expected, you know what to aim at again, and you can do better. Your students may be better than you think, and success has a rub-off effect on the whole school.